Hey guys, it's Jubin Hunted here, and this is How to Improve in Modern Warfare 2, Episode 1. Now, before it starts, I just want to say if you guys could please subscribe, I'm only 5 people away from 2,000, and that would mean a lot to me. Um, if you subscribe, I make videos every 1 to 2 days, uh, mainly uh, commentary gameplays, and I am getting an HD PVR very soon. So, look forward to uh, stuff in HD. Right now, I'm using a Dazzle. So, um, first just a few basic tips first of all I want to say be happy um <laughs> I know it sounds corny but if you if you relax and have fun when you play you play better when you get angry as much you know you play like crap because you run around and be stupid um an HD TV is always helpful uh, makes things clearer to see uh, allows you to like I don't know just pick out people uh, faster and if you sit close to your TV it also helps because you can see better detail um headset this is a turtle beach x1 i have these these are very nice they're about 60 bucks these play the uh tv video game sound through your ears and it lets you hear people like pretty much across the map okay so the first one i want to say is first tip is uh choose your sensitivity uh based on you if you see here uh well first of all i'm just doing the brightness to make it a little better um if you see here uh if you do sensitivity one, like I choose for the first example, you will move around very slowly, and this makes it harder for uh, most people because you can't follow people as fast or move to them. Uh, it's a big disadvantage. Um, if you're a new player, though, I'd recommend starting low and working up higher. Um, the sensitivity I play on is five. I believe this is pretty, pretty well balanced. You can move around pretty fast, but you can still maintain control. And then there's always insane, which is 10 sensitivity, where you can see you move around like crazy. If you get good, if you get to the point where you can do that good, you're always going to be good. Now, um, tactical layout. This really helps because this allows you to drop shot because you crouch and prone with the right stick instead of B. Uh, B is now knife. What this, what drop shotting is, is it allows you to see here. You can shoot while you go prone, and what this does is, if people are shooting at your chest, you will. Uh, dodge their bullets, but you can still shoot them. So yeah, it just allows that. Uh, the next tip I would like to show you is uh, choose your correct kill streaks for the correct game mode. Um, here you see I'm setting up a search and destroy kill streaks uh, layout or loadout, whatever you want to call it. And the reason for the three, four, five is because you do not get many high kill streaks in search and destroy, and these help you out a lot. Uh, the next one is going for a nuke. 7, 11, 25 with the chopper gunner is base is your basic nuke layout. It uh, allows you to get that easily. Now this one is the team deathmatch domination any type game mode high kill ratio basic basic layout. And this one is just probably your best free for all one. The pave load does work. Um, UAV gets you to predator predator usually gets you about two kills. Last two kills nothing to get pave low. Now. What I want to show you next is attachments and stuff for the correct game mode. Um, first of all, I'm going to be showing you. Well, let me find it. I think I have to find the right gun. Okay. For free for all, you want to use the silencer pretty much all the time. Um, you guys know what a silencer does. It's pretty obvious that why would why you would use it, it keeps you stealthy. Um, I recommend using stopping power if you're using a silencer because it does weaken your gun a little bit. Um, let's see. When using a sniper rifle, if you're on a map like Wasteland or anything like that, um, I would recommend using the thermal because it allows you to see farther because everything's black pretty much, gray, and the guy is white so you can pretty much see across the map. And then anywhere else like derail where you can't use a thermal, I would recommend using FMJ because all the other attachments for shotgun for uh, sniper rifles are crap. Um, when using a uh, SMJ, SMG, I would recommend using the silencer for Russian classes. You see here, I have a Russian class set up, and uh, this is a good one because Marathon and Lightweight allow you to get there quicker. Ninja um, keeps you stealthy, and the silencer allows you to rush in, kill people, and keep rushing, and they won't see you. And then the AA-12 is just good because it's a uh, very close range and high power shotgun. Now, next, I want to uh, you need to know your secondaries. What I mean by this is know the best secondary for your class at the current time. Um, I think there's a little pause here before it actually starts. Okay, here we go. Um, 
when using a sniper rifle, the best, probably secondary weapon would be a shotgun like the Spas 12 or the Ranger Akimbo because of their high power and the Spas has a lot of range. Um, the Ranger is the strongest shotgun in the game. Uh, another good, another alternative would be a machine pistol like the PP2K for closer range, and then the Rafika for farther range shots. And uh, Kimbo or holographic sight would always work good because uh, high power and better accuracy. And even the USP Akimbo works too. Now, for using a gun like the like an assault rifle. Uh, shotgun's the best choice. You don't really want to use a machine pistol because you pretty much have that with your primary weapon. And a good one would be like the striker for high power, uh, high velocity shooting. And also a handgun like maybe the Magnum for high power or the Desert Eagle would work well, work as well. Now, when using something like the like a light machine gun, the best choice is probably a machine pistol. And you may be thinking, oh, you have that already, but if you're out of ammo, it's a, it's a fast alternative to switch. Learn your maps. Um, the link should be in the description. This is actually episode 2 on my channel, episode 1 on F Gamers. Uh, I have a map showing different spots on maps, so check that out. Next one is stopping to, uh, to see your surroundings. If you see here, you stop. It allows you to look around. You can see everything moving. Um, run, or, run around, stop. You can see everything. It's a lot easier than running around trying to spot people. Next would be to... Uh, when ha using a SMG, I think that's what I can't really remember. If it's not SMG, whatever. Um, from far away, don't hold it down. You see there, it bounces up. You're not going to get the accuracy you want, and it's not going to kill in those first few bullets actually hit. Say somebody's head is in the window, you want to tap the trigger, maybe let uh, shoot two or three bullets. You see it stays on the window, and that allows for shots going through their dome. And uh, one quick tip would be in Search and Destroy, when you look down the site, if you tap the left stick, uh, it allows you to switch view, and you'll see how this helps in a second. If, say, you're here and you want to look around the edge, you can do that, and you'll see. You can just switch your point of view. And if here you want to see somebody you can't tell what side they're on, you switch sides, and you look around. It's really helpful. I actually found that out today. Now, the last tip is know your roots. You see here, this is a basic search and destroy one on Afghan. Um, this is the one rushing route you want to take. And the reason I want to show you this is because you don't want to run the same route because it will get you killed. Here's another rushing route. Um, this is pretty much the same one. It just takes longer so they don't believe you're coming and then you can surprise attack them. And if you always wanted to switch it up and be defensive, you can wait on one of these two corners and wait for them to plant the bomb. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I know this was kind of fast. I had to with the clips. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe to me. Uh, peace out.